It's the second year of the Choral Sketches programme. There have been uh, subtle changes, so this year for a start we've got four composers instead of three, including for the first time a composer that's come through us through TENSO, which is the European network uh, of choruses. And of course, with our, with our conductors, last year it was Paul Hillier, this year it's uh, Niels Schreckendieck. If I compare last year's wonderful composers with, with this year's, there's a lot more aleatoric writing where elements of randomness have crept in, sort of controlled improvisation. And the beauty of the Cool Sketches idea is that we all get to experiment together uh, in the room. It's a supportive, positive environment. And really what we want is for fragments and bits of pieces and ideas to be exposed and performed so that everyone, not just the composer, gets to hear this. It's really about the provision of a resource. I've used the workshop as an opportunity to kind of delve into and explore choral texture. A number of things that you might not necessarily consider standard choral practice. Whispered text, spoken text, hummed text, transformations and mutations between phonemes. And the lovely thing about this context with choral sketches is that you're free to really explore different techniques. Ultimately, the composer wants to produce something that can be performed. And whatever ideas or preconceptions one might have going into a process like this, it is extremely important to understand the feedback that comes to you. Some of the stuff that we're looking at are, are not common in choral works, extended techniques, um, different types of sounds. And so it's, it's very important to be able to notate it in a way that a choir can most easily understand. The way you're briefed at the beginning of Choral Sketches is really good because you are psychologically prepared at every step by Tarek and by the chamber choir to have limited time. But, you know, within that time, if you do things right and prepare as forensically as possible and, you know, think about how every single singer is going to react to everything on the page and ask questions and everything. Once you manage that, you actually have a great opportunity to do a lot in a small space of time. I think it's important to risk. You take more risks when you have a chance to meet the people again. You can just relax and then just gather so much experience. It's really practical. And then feel much more comfortable with the things you wanted to do next time you meet the ensemble or the chorus. That's the main value of the workshops, I think. <laughs>